Hi, my name is Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I have a rather unusual head combination to let you listen to, and that is coated pinstripes over coated ambassadors. Uh, normally, I would not use a coated head on the bottom of my toms. Um, you know, traditional wisdom is that you use a uh, thin, clear head there um, for my entire life. That's what I've been doing. However, I've been watching a lot of Benny Greb over the last uh, six or seven years, and uh, he uses the coated ambassador on the bottom with the coated emperor on the top. Uh, so I wanted to try that uh, coated bottom head uh, to see how it sounds. Um, and it turns out it sounds really good when it's dampened a little bit. Um, wide open, I could take it or leave it. Um, I went with the coated pinstripe on these uh, Yamaha Stage Custom Birch Drums because I know that the clear pinstripe sounds really good on the uh, top there. Um, and the coated ambassador gives it a really quick decay, uh, which is exactly what I was looking for. I have uh, recently uh, started a funk band. We're playing like traditional 60s and 70s funk. And uh, I like that thuddy tom sound um, that they got, you know, a lot of times by accident. Um, it's, it's a really, it's a cool sound. The, uh, the toms hit and they get out of the way. Um, everyone always is looking for that huge sustain, you know, big boomy tom sound. And that's fine if you are, you know, just playing live with like a rock band uh, and you're not close micing your drums. However, the minute you get into a studio or you start to close mic your toms, all that sustain like really gets in the way. Uh, and any sound guy you find is going to, you know, demand that you, you know, control that sustain somehow. Uh, so only really drummers love that huge boomy, you know, 30 seconds to uh, decay sustain. Uh, it's not really practical only in, you know, in very few situations. Uh, so I'm going to let you hear these wide open, and then I'm going to actually dampen them with the uh, studio rings, which is my uh, favorite sound for this head configuration. Uh, gives it a really uh, quick decay, but still with a good attack. Uh, I'm going to let you hear them open first, all the toms individually through a Shure SM57, and then the kit all together, uh, and that's going to be through the Zoom H6, which is right here above my head. Uh, inside the kick drum, I have a Shure Beta 52. Uh, the head on the kick is a uh, Power Stroke Black Suede. Uh, snare drum today is the Dave Weckl, uh, it's the older uh, Maple model. So uh, here are the toms open through the 57.
Now I have the toms set up with these Studio Zero rings. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with these, um, it's just basically like the outside piece of a, uh, of a thicker head. Dampens the overtones. Uh, they've been around for, for quite a long time. Um, you'll hear immediately that all the sustain on all these drums is way shorter. Um, the floor times actually still ring quite a bit, um, but it's not, uh, they, they decay quick and it's kind of like a low level hum after that. The 10 and the 12 decay immediately. I really like this sound um, for funk um, because the toms hit, they get out of the way. My band's got like 10 people and you know the more going on at any given time, the more just noise there is. So I like to hear that attack and I like to hear the, uh, the sustain really short. You may not like the sound you know, for rock or jazz, um, but it definitely has its place uh, in a number of uh, different styles. Um, a lot of times I'll use just the 10 and the 16 or the 12 and the 16. Uh, the 14 doesn't see a lot of use. I might put it over on my left-hand side. Um, wide open, the 12 kind of had like a sickly sound. Um, it's, cause it's just got some weird overtones to it. Um, the ring just takes care of all of that. So I'm gonna play it through the 57. Then uh, you'll know, hear the entire kit through the Zoom H6.
So there you have the coated pinstripes over coated ambassadors. And again, these are birch drums. They are the Yamaha Stage Custom, uh, which is a hell of a good deal, by the way. Uh, when I got them, they were six fifty for the you know, for the five piece, including the snare. Um, you know, this is a different head combination. It's not for everybody. Uh, you might love it, you might hate it, but you probably fall uh, somewhere in between. Um, it definitely works out for me um, for a traditional '60s and '70s funk kind of setting. I don't know that I'd use it for uh, for everything, um, but it is useful in those situations. I'm gonna play a little bit more. Um, I'm actually gonna throw a couple of uh, dampening gels on the floor toms uh, and leave the uh, the top toms like they are, um, so you can hear how that sounds. Uh, once again, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out all the covers, uh, the tutorials, and uh, the lesson videos, and take care.